This is the best camper for hauling your Razor side by side. This 2024 Raptor 431 has a 13 and a half foot garage and a gross vehicle weight rating of 19,000 pounds. Our 13 and a half foot garage right here is a zero gravity door. Smacked out of my head earlier. You lift that thing with a couple fingers, no problem. You unlatch here and here, then you can fold this down into a ramp, drive your toys right up in there. All this stuff in the middle here will actually fold out into a little fence area. Bada bing, now you got a patio deck back here. Around this way, we got our ladder to our roof so you can check on your solar, your caulk, your ACs. I like to just hang out up there. Down below, you see we got a gas pump, fill up all your toys in the garage. Four by four, dirt bike, motorcycle. This three axle beefcake is covered head to toe in frameless tinted windows. And then back around this end on the campsite, we got two outdoor speakers. We got one, two awnings, another awning in the back. It's three total. You already know we got the good stuff out here. We got the good stuff. Let's Let's pop inside this drone. Let's head in through the very back. It is locked. Good to know the locks work well. Going through this door. So uh, here if we unlock it, nice screen door, keep the bugs out. Otherwise, you can open it up like that, drive them toys in. Or you can come out here, enjoy the beautiful sunset, enjoy uh, the nature that surrounds you. Let's check out this garage. You see in here we got a TV, we got uh, stairs for out back, we got the ladder that'll go to your loft up front. We got a carpet here if you want to make this area a little more homey, otherwise there's tie downs all over the floor. We got the happy jack bed system, so king bed up top. These will fold into either couches or another king bed. And then you see above here we have the AC, one of three total. And then we got the speakers here which are connected to your sound system up front. Through here. We got the toilet. We got a one of two full-size bathrooms. Tiny tub, standing shower, a lot of headroom in that one. Let's check out the kitchen and the living area. Oh, wowie zowie. Ain't that a beautiful interior? I actually do like this layout a lot. It's like the perfect amount of separation from the kitchen and the living room. Enough that it feels like they're two separate areas, but it's still nice and open here so you can be social with the family. It's also great for game day because you won't miss a second of the game while you're cooking up your game day meals here. This is a four burner gas stove, bigger than usual, and that oven is pretty beefy as well. These are all stainless steel appliances, real nice microwave. Um, Real nice microwave, solid sink, uh, solid double door, double drawer refrigerator, and a good size pantry, a lot of space for them canned goods. Living room, we got the sectional sofa across from our entertainment center and our fireplace. And then over on the right side here, we got the dual theater recliners. These puppies are equipped with cup holders, massage, heat, and USB ports. Working our way up to the front of the camper, we're gonna take a left. We got the ensuite bathroom. This is the bigger of our two bathrooms, porcelain foot flush, seat in this shower. And then entering our bedroom, we got the king bed. I like this headboard, that's a snazzy headboard. Don't tell me that's not a snazzy headboard. Across from the bed, we got another TV, a nice dresser drawer, nice big closet over here. And then a second big closet, this one equipped with washer dryer hookups. And I almost forgot to mention, there's your second AC, and then uh, here's your third AC, so three total. Oh, and the, the mother-in-law suite. Everyone loves the mother-in-law suite. Uh, it's also like a nice, it's a cool kid's cove area. Can't really reach it. Maybe pause the video when I get to like the apex of that jump and you can like see up there. If you got any questions on this sucker, don't hesitate to give me a call. The phone number is in the bio.